What if a city's river became so foul that even lawmakers fled the smell? In the summer of 1858, London faced an unimaginable crisis. The Thames, once the city's lifeblood, had become its greatest menace. Decades of dumping raw sewage and industrial waste directly into the river, combined with an intense heat wave, transformed the water into a putrid, toxic soup. The stench was so overpowering that Parliament draped curtains soaked in chlorine, bride of lime to mask the odor, but nothing worked. Lawmakers struggled to concentrate, and daily life ground to a halt. Newspapers dubbed it the Great Stink. This public health nightmare exposed the urgent need for change. Engineer Joseph Bazalgette was appointed to design a vast network of underground sewers to carry waste far downstream, away from the city. Despite skepticism, political delays, and enormous technical challenges, Bazalgette's bold vision prevailed. His innovative system not only curbed deadly outbreaks of cholera and typhoid, but also set a new global standard for urban sanitation. The Great Stink wasn't just a disaster, it was a pivotal moment that reshaped public health policies and transformed the very fabric of city life forever.